Hi, I'm Russ with ESBService.com and today I'm going to talk to you about the electrical requirements for your ESB tanning bed. Your ESB uh, tanning bed should come with this information but sometimes if you buy it used or uh, maybe uh, uh, you, you haven't come across it for whatever reason um, this is a sheet that comes in your uh, owner's manual that tells you the basic um, configuration for the electrical that's required for your tanning bed. Now, regardless of the model of tanning bed you have, they all need to be on a dedicated circuit breaker. That means that in your breaker box, there's one circuit breaker that goes to the receptacle that the bed is plugged into and nowhere else, no other branches or splits, it's simply dedicated to that outlet. And um, it would also need to have the amperage capacity um, that's rated for the bed. Now, to prevent any type of problem, what I would recommend that you first do is look at your power cord and determine your requirement from there. On the chart, it shows that there are three different types of receptacles. There's a NEMA 5-15R, there's a NEMA 5-20R, and a NEMA 6-20R. And what it says is 120 volt 16 and 14 lamp beds require a 5-15R. So you see this model here has 16 lamps in it and it has a plug where the two blades are parallel with each other. And this is a, a 15 amp configuration. So you could put a 15 amp breaker on that. There are many older models that might have had a, a 15 amp plug like this, but they would still require a 20 amp circuit breaker. This is because of the inrush when you first turn the tanning bed on you would basically need a little bit more clearance, uh, a little more tolerance in that breaker to prevent it from tripping when you start the bed up. Most of the beds will require this, the NEMA 5-20R. This is 120 volt, 20 and 24 lamp beds. There are other configurations that, um, that have this type of a plug uh, though, and those require, um, this is a 20 amp plug, 120 volt, and it would require a 20 amp dedicated circuit breaker just the same. These are what they look like here in this diagram. These first two. This is a 120 volt 20 amp plug where you have a vertical terminal on the left and a horizontal on the right when the ground, the round one, is pointing right towards you. And um, this is the typical 15 amp plug with the uh, two parallel blades. This last plug here is actually a mirror image of the 120 volt 20 amp. This is the 240 volt 20 amp plug. It has a horizontal terminal on the left and a vertical on the right when you have the ground at the bottom and facing you. So that is for the 240 volt beds. That is the NEMA 6-20R receptacle and again, dedicated circuit breaker. I would recommend that, what, uh, obviously it would be best if you have a licensed electrician perform the electrical service uh, for your tanning bed. And when he does so, I would recommend that you have them check the receptacle with a voltmeter and ensure that it is in the proper range for your bed. A lot of the older beds especially would specify only 220 to 230 on the 240 volt side and only 110 to 120 on the um, on the 110 volt side so you may look into getting a buck booster transformer or uh, something to uh, rectify if you have voltage that is outside of that range uh, of course your warranty does hinge on this being fulfilled as you can see in the statement here uh, so to ensure that your bed is trouble free and you preserve your warranty you, you would need to follow these electrical requirements for your bed 
Lastly, the best way to simply protect your bed's electrical system is just simply to unplug the bed when you're not using it.